How do you leave your RWB so dirty? There's only one guy out there that could have the dirtiest uncared for RWB, and that's Brian Scotto. Oh, excuse me. How does this happen? We came to Germany, I'm driving a Cadillac, and we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> Look, why? What, how, what, are we such uncultured pieces of shit that we come to a different country and we're like, ah, oh, I don't know, European cars are scary, I'm gonna drive this gas-guzzling V8 and go eat a hamburger that's made in a microwave. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Do they have a McRib? They have McRib permanently here? What? Yes, why do we get, why do we get, why do we always get screwed over for the good stuff? We're in traffic, we're in the rain, just stuck. Larry's having a good time, however. Um, we forgot to get gas. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of going on a little off-road excursion right now. It's this cobblestone road leading up to this castle. It's actually not that bad, it's pretty comfortable. I have to pee so bad, and the road is so bumpy. Yeah, you guys should definitely let me pass here on the cliff. Nice place, huh? Yeah, thanks for showing us your country. Yeah, it's very nice. Is this the place where Sebastian Vettel is coming from? This so, is a cool place, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a castle. It's so old. Yeah. But but the road up to this place is so... Well, thanks for taking us off-road. I actually wanted to off-road today. <laughs> yeah, uh, with a G3 Touring off-road. Yeah, do a little... Uh, uh, Suspension uh, testing. No, a, little, a little overlanding. So yeah, look at this castle. Holy so cow. Old. But I often see the place uh, at the pictures, uh -huh. so but, uh, I thought, yeah, let's take the girls to let's this place. <laughs> Did you say, let's take the girls here? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what a jerk. What <laughs> a jerk. <laughs> Usually, when Sydney comes to the US, we get to shoot together, I get to hang out with him, and I show him the stuff in LA. We finally get to check out his place in Germany. He bought a whole car dealership. What the heck? This is it's insane. So, Sydney's moving locations and he just bought this car dealership. It's still under construction. He's having a grand opening sometime in November, but uh, he's been helping us out all week and hanging out, so we want to stop by and check out some of his cars. So we're gonna go grab him and uh, make him take a walkthrough about what he has going on here. find Sydney, but he just put some new LMs, authentic BBS LMs on the Mark I. But this and his RWB have been sitting around and collecting dust, so shameless plug, but we're gonna hit it with some Mother's Instant Detailer. We're gonna hit him with this, shine him up, and then Larry's gonna shoot some cars. How do you leave your RWB so dirty? There's only one guy out there that could have the dirtiest uncared for RWB, and that's Brian Scotto. Oh, excuse me. So you're out here putting Larry Chen to work oh, so he could shoot your car. I'm gonna have Larry, I'm gonna have Larry shoot my car because I need a detail and I don't like doing Whoa. it. Oh, sir. Serious? No, 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 no. Hit, hit that spot. Was it a clean, a clean one? Yeah. Uh -huh. You do that very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows how to work those forearms. Yeah. Larry, yeah, you've been working those forearms? Exercise, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So you're you're the official RWB dealer yes. of Germany, right? Yeah, I'm the official RWB Germany guy, and uh, this is the the theme of the first build was Motherland, and his car uh, this car is called Furusato. That means homeland. This means uh, motherland. I'm very cool. proud of that. 
So it's yeah. a, what is it? Tell us about it. It's a 993. It's, it's a 993 uh, C2 manual 6B. Oh, mm. uh huh. Oh. Oh, the interior on this is so clean and finished. Yeah, nice. It's modified. Hey, oh, I have a, this a... best shifter. I have one in my car too. CAE shifter? CAE is the best yeah, shifter, good. right? You got Nakai's signature yes. right here. Oh, awesome. Uh -huh. Alcantara trim dashboard, stitch, cool. steering wheel, ultraviolet stitch, seats, roll cage accent. Shout out to yes. Recaro. Dude. Whew. So what are these wheels? These are Schmitz. Uh, this wheel we, we uh, designed by myself and I produced it with Schmitz. With oh, no way. Man. Yeah. Dude, yeah, these are nice. I know a lot about RWB, but it seems like a lot of them have a bit of different style. They all have the overall same feel and look, but Everyone kind of adds their own pieces to be more unique, and I see yours has a bit different arrow work. First time in RWB history is uh, this line, and this opening is mainly straight. Now there's a curve in, mm. like Rotana. He doesn't measure any of this. Stuff, no, right? He just, he just does it by eye. Yes. Like I straight up watched him do it by eye, and he makes all of these seams with his finger too. Wow. The same that's finger. So, that's so wild. Yeah. I mean, I straight up watched him just drill holes, just eyeballing it, drill holes, mount a splitter or whatever, and it's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Serious. Yeah. It's like, like a, it's an artist. Raw weld, for those of you guys who don't know, it means rough world, right? It's, it's here. Yeah. But yeah. well, what is this? Zweite Entwicklung. Second development, because second life. Mm. The agent is a second life. I actually, you know, that's one of those things about RWB cars. A lot of people get upset when these are cut yeah. and when they think that they get destroyed. But honestly, in my eyes, they do have a second life. Yeah. Like, they were just an ordinary Porsche, but since Nakai-san had, had his touch in it, it's became something extraordinary. Unique. Yeah, unique. There was also a time when, like, these cars weren't so coveted. It's only until the last couple of years that they've become something so sought after. So like for a while, people were like 80s SC G bodies, stuff like that were going for like 10,000 bucks and no yeah, one yeah. cared, you yeah. know? But now that they're worth money, everyone gets mad that, and that you know. And that was the time Nakai was, was uh, building the kit. It right. was like 964 was about. Yeah, it was a whatever power, car, yeah. Whatever. But this is just loud and proud and just everything yeah. loud and loud. I mean, yeah, there's no, this thing is so sick looking. It has such a mean presence. And, and the second one, the G2 we was building, we have different special things for the second German. You're building car. another one? Yes. But is it in there? Yes. Oh, no. Let's breathe, we'll breeze past those. Oh, oh, do, do not tell me you're cutting this thing. No, 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 not this one. It's the old style with the new style with the modern technique, the LED. It's so crazy. 400 HP, yeah. Oh wow. Front wheel drive? Yes, sir. Oh boy. And this is like just some uh, Beetle stuff. I like Beetle. I don't know why. I'm, oh. I'm really sick about Beetle. I saw that you have a Beetle that I absolutely love. Yeah, let's go check I that out. Before we get to the Mark 1, let's go check out yeah. the Beetle. Okay, okay, okay. So what is it? It's a Volkswagen new Beetle, obviously. Yeah, it's built 250 times per hand in Volkswagen and in Wolfsburg. It's a VR6. Ooh, hell that what it, Yeah, let's pop the hood on this thing. Look at these seats. It's all manual, handmade. Oh boy. The base is just a new Beetle. Ooh. It's a, R, this R thing is 32. sick. A Golf R32 oh. is underneath. Oh. Wait, what? This is an R32? Yes. Holy Ooh. crap. That's such a, there is no room. There no, is. there's no room. You have to drop it from the bottom, huh? Yeah. So this is this is a Haldex, right? So it's yes, got the, it's a Haldex. start this thing up. You know these are like the best sounding engine. Yeah, it's so good. Such a good sounding. Just a little more education. No, it's got a super engine? Interior is so good. Oh yeah. A 
lot of people may think, why the hell do we care so much about this car? But for people like Scotto and myself who grew up being Volkswagen kids, we like idolize Germany for their like Volkswagen car culture. And I've been saying this whole time, like I just want to find like a sick Mark 1 or Mark 2. And then we come to Sydney shop and he didn't even mention that he had this thing. <laughs> this is a 81 Mark 1. Original 81,000, original paint. Oh, this original is all original paint? Yeah, original oh, boy. interior. Watch it, original radio. So it's bone stock, just coilovers and some brand new BBS? Yeah, seven by 17 inch, yeah. Four lug LMs are rare. Yes. You don't really see those too often. Wow. I love the difference here with like, this like little skinny Mark One, like the smallest car you could possibly get and then just the widest, most obnoxious yeah. car you could possibly <laughs> imagine. Wow, it's just, the interior is so cool. It really is like a time machine yeah. when you step in here. Wow, the door panel is in such good condition. Look at this thing, it's like brand new. Can we take a look at where none of the magic happens? Absol yeah. Absolutely zero magic happens under here. Zero magic. <laughs> Boy, do you want to swap this thing or are you going to leave it stock? This one I leave it stock, mm -hmm. but I have a project to build one with a, the, with a double clutch and oh, a nice. two liter turbo. Okay, that's of cool. Of a GTI. Yeah. So or keep... maybe I can tell you the engine of this basic Beetle, which I swap into a, a VR6, and I take this Technic package 2.0T. How's this for the hooligans? has been a great resource. He's kind of helped us get around this entire week, which uh, involves everything from watching us get lost to helping us order french fries at McDonald's. So okay, okay. it's been a huge help. I'm looking forward to hanging out at SEMA again. Oh yes. But I'm also looking forward to going to one of your favorite restaurants tonight. I, honestly, the best Lebanese restaurant ever. And I'm excited for that because I'm starving and then I want to go to sleep. Our hotel is still two hours from here. We haven't slept for more than three hours a night here. And uh, tomorrow we're going to go drive the Nürburgring in the pouring rain. So oh, I would awesome. like to maybe get a little bit of rest for that so we don't kill ourselves. <laughs>